age and growth of the Antarctic fish, Pseudohanichthys georgianus, based on the otolith morphometry. Problem. Age data of Antarctic fish, Pseudohanichthys georgianus of white blood South Georgia eye fish, Age data for the first two years is easy to set up from the observations and the catch. Fish spawning in uh, February, March and April. Larvae hatch in July. Post larvae found in January or December have half an a year. Age data from increases in hearing stones otolith and from the observations and the catch. Hatching larva have otolith with 0.1 mm of radius and have 50 mm of total length. Post larvas have 7 cm of total length. The otolith have 1 mm of radius. Next year we can find in December fish with uh, 21 cm of total length. Their age is 1.6 of year. The otolith have a radius of 1.97 mm. From the internal otolith morphology we can find larval nucleus, larval nucleus, this is otolith of hatching larva with 0.1 mm of radius. We can find second primordium, second primordium. This is mark of postular otolith. This second primordium grows during the year about 1 mm. When the second primordium increases by 1 mm, that fish have aged a year more. Larval nucleus enveloped by hatching mark. Second primordium. Second primordium increases by one millimeter. Constant growth of mass and otolith structure with age, but no growth of length in all their fish. On the length frequency, we can find three age groups, easy to distinguish. First group are post larvae that have 7 cm total length. Next age group have 21 cm of total length. And the next age group have about 35 centimeters of total length. We can find the next age group, but this age group have older examples of fish. But they create peak with 46 centimeters of total length. If we measure otolid weight, we can find that from the leg frequency we couldn't distinguish all the age groups. But from the otolith mass it probably could be done. In the order in the larger fish we can distinguish age data from the mass of otolith. In the older fish we have various otolith mass. That otolith mass we can set up in three age groups. The youngest of that fish probably is at age of 4 and the cameras are 5 and 6 years old. In the order in the larger fish we can distinguish age data from the internal and external morphology but it is not easy. Causes of errors Otolids, hearing stones, have various kinds of rings increments from which it is difficult to choose the annual increments to age determination. It is problem aged from the number of annual rings. Aging of Antarctic fish are commonly known as a difficult. 
Additionally, there is a lack of clear seasonality in the Antarctic, long days in the summer and long nights in the winter. Assumption We can estimate the age by reading daily increments show up in the otolith slices as a concentric rings. Otolith slices, after polishing the surface, show up daily increments as a concentric rings. Justification It was proved that the smallest in micro increments of otoliths are daily increments arising as a result of date and night metabolic cycle in the production of otolit matrix components. Collagen making space matrix of the otolit and oragonite filling the gaps in the space of collagen matrix. For fish preying in the night, this cycle results from larger locomotor activity during the night and lower activity in the day. One unit of daily ring is set up from collagen ring and a ring of gaps after oragonite needles removed by EDTA. In the other way, acid remove collagen and set up in otolith matrix rings of gaps alternate with rings of oragonite needles. Technical difficulties of the method Difficult and laborious execution of otolith slice with good visible of daily increments. Daily increments are easy, determined from otolith of up to one year old fish. This means counts only up to 365 increments. In adult fish, we need to count a large number of daily increments, such as 3600 for fish 10 years old, and it is not easy. Solution Use a micro densitometer for measure optical densities to automatic registration of optical density of daily increments and count daily peaks that are equal to number of daily increments. Detect the smallest cycle daily increment in empirical date of optical density of the microscopic preparations by summing two sets of measurements being moved to each other and finding the minima of the optical densities and calculation of cycles, daily increments. Detect the smallest cycle, daily increment, by fit periodic functions to the measurement data and calculation of the number of cycles that are equals to number of daily increments. Check whether daily increment is unit among similar or not similar species. The other ice fish larvae have very similar daily increments and otolith shape. In the otolith microstructure, they increments show that in one direction are very narrow, in this same time in the other direction are very wide. When one direction their width are increased, 
in the order direction are decreased. This suggests that mass of otolith should be constant parameter for growth of otolith. Age from otolith mass. The otolith weight frequency indicated that there were modes with normal distribution associated with the age groups. Age groups are separated by large distances between groups in frequency of otolith mass. After confirmation that groups in otolith mass frequency differ by annual increments, the age of the fish shall be determined by weighting of otolith. Otolith analysis show that growth of Pseudohanichthys georgianus from Antarctic and subantarctic islands are very similar. Otolith are species specific and should characterize similar growth of fish populations.